What's up, guys? Well, this happened today. I've never fucking seen that before. Piece of the wrist pin clip broke out. There's still, it's still some in there. It's just hard to see. Um, it's smooshed up in there, but some of it broke off, and uh, I didn't install those wrist pin clips it was uh ordered it off ebay and the motor was already put together and uh i suspect they squished the ends together you're not supposed to do that with these uh wrist pin clips it looks like you're supposed to squeeze both of those together to like push it in but uh that's not what you're supposed to you're not supposed to you're only supposed to grab one side and wedge the other one in there and work it around and if they didn't do that, it could walk out because I've had that happen to me before. That's how I know. Um, yeah, so I could replace the top end on this, but they're kind of expensive. And I have another YD100 coming in tomorrow. And uh, so I ordered a new top end for, for this motor. This is actually, I got a couple of bottom ends, but this is my only... Uh, triple 40 bottom ends but this is my only legit um zeta 80 and believe it or not i never used it um i bought it and i stole the top end off of it and it's just been sitting like this for about a year so i ordered a 48 millimeter uh piston set from mz miami for this and i'm putting that on the grudge no, I'm putting the YD100 on the grudge because I can't fit a uh, the traditional triple 40 with a head on it. It's just not enough room in there. So the cylinder set's going to be going on the Cranbrook. Um, so I'm on pause until tomorrow right now until I get my YD and put that on this. But anyway, guys, uh, be careful installing your wrist pin clips if you're able to do it yourself and uh, just do it correctly. Um, if somebody already boogered it up from the factory, uh, I mean, you're not going to know until you really can't tell. Because uh, I think what happens is, is when you squeeze it, you just like make it weaker or it just never seated right to begin with when they did it. But I checked to see if it was uh, seated right when uh, I first got it and uh, they were and they spun in place and everything um, but anyway guys uh, yeah that was fun um, emptying out the bottom end and seeing all the chunks fly out I can't believe it made it home and it really wasn't that bad um, so I'm also thinking about on the other YD100 when I get it um, just taking out those transfer walls having them open transfer walls like the G4 cylinders um just so there's no potential of that happening and um the motor i'm getting from amazon is straight from cdh and i have to put it together myself and i'm glad uh, because i get to see it's put together correctly and i get to work on it some before i slap it together but anyway guys uh have an awesome day later